we're all here because we knew what a great man Gary was. He lived a great life. He was one of the kindest people. He had a wonderful 70 years on this planet. I think it was more that he was there for his wife and his sons and his brothers than us being there for him. That's the kind of man that he was. But he was always there for us. And he always will be in our hearts and in our minds. We love you, Gary. And thank you for everything. Pleasure was all yours. He took me in. Well, he met my mom. He couldn't really afford it, but he still did it anyway. And I didn't know at the time, but that action completely changed my entire life going forward. When he was in the hospital, I kept telling him how thankful I was. It all hit me at the same time, and I just kept telling him, I'm like, gee, I'm like, you have no idea how thankful I am. Like, you changed my entire life. And he was like barely breathing, barely talking. And I thought he would say, you're welcome, or no problem. But he looked at me and he said, pleasure was all mine. I remember at Christmas time, I wanted an iPod. And she said, no way in hell you get an iPod. He went behind her back, drove like six hours to get an iPad for Christmas, and then surprised me with it. Same with the PlayStation. Like, I didn't deserve any of those things as a kid. But he still got it. That's just the kind of guy he was. And forever thankful, always remember him. And he would have been really happy with this. He did a great job with Kevin, Chigren, and myself. And I am so forever thankful that all this stuff. Thank you, guys. He had a very good sense of humor. He was just the proud father of three boys. And, you know, and I, am, I was always there just making jokes and making fun of him that he was just too proud of everybody. So. And he loved his brothers. He was never jealous of anybody. He was just proud. He was just proud man of his family. It's my family, honey. My family. Rest in peace, Gary.